In the bustling city of Wilmington, Delaware, a young boy named Walt Hazard found solace and inspiration on the basketball courts of his neighborhood. With dreams in his eyes and a natural talent for the game, he embarked on a journey that would take him from the humble streets to the grand stages of the NBA. But amidst the glittering lights and the roaring crowds, there were shadows that lingered in Hazard's life. Tragedy and personal struggles cast a somber pall over his promising career. Health issues, heartaches, and the unimaginable loss of loved ones threatened to derail his path to greatness. The weight of these burdens tested his resilience and challenged the very essence of his being. The tragic life of Walt Hazard was a testament to the fragility of dreams and the resilience of the human spirit. As we delve into the chapters that shaped his journey, we will witness the triumphs and tribulations of a basketball prodigy, and perhaps gain a deeper understanding of the complexities that lie beneath the surface of an extraordinary life. Walt Hazard, born as Walter Raphael Hazard Jr., was born on April 15, 1942, in Wilmington, Delaware. He grew up in a basketball-loving family, with his father being a former semi-professional basketball player. Hazard's passion for the game was ignited at a young age, and he quickly displayed exceptional talent and potential. At UCLA, Hazard played for the Bruins from 1961 to 1964. During his time there, he made significant contributions to the team's success. In his sophomore year, Hazard helped lead the Bruins to an NCAA championship, marking the first of many championships under coach Wooden. He continued to excel in his junior and senior years, becoming the team's leading scorer and earning All-American honors. Walt Hazard's professional basketball career spanned from 1964 to 1974, during which he played for several teams in the National Basketball Association. Hazard was selected as the first overall pick in the 1964 NBA draft by the Los Angeles Lakers. In his rookie season, he made an immediate impact, averaging 14.3 points, 4.6 rebounds, and 4.1 assists per game. Playing alongside Lakers legends Jerry West and Elgin Baylor, Hazard showcased his scoring ability, court vision, and leadership skills. During his time with the Lakers, Hazard helped the team reach the NBA Finals in the 1964-65 season. However, they fell short against the Boston Celtics in a hard-fought series. In 1967, Hazard was traded to the Seattle Supersonics, where he continued to excel as a point guard. Walt Hazard's personal life was characterized by his passion for basketball, his commitment to social justice, and his close relationships with family and friends. Hazard was born into a basketball-loving family, with his father being a former semi-professional basketball player. This upbringing instilled in him a deep love for the game from an early age. His family's support and encouragement played a significant role in his basketball journey. In his college years, Hazard faced personal challenges and underwent a spiritual transformation. He converted to Islam and changed his name to Mahdi Abdul Rahman for a brief period. However, he later returned to using his birth name, Walt Hazard, and continued to embrace his Muslim faith while maintaining a connection to his Christian roots. Throughout his life, Hazard remained committed to social justice causes. He actively advocated for equality and fought against racial discrimination. His involvement in the civil rights movement and his outspoken nature made him a respected figure both on and off the basketball court. One tragic event in Hazard's life was the sudden death of his son, Jakob Hazard, in 1996. Jakob, a promising basketball player, passed away at the age of 27 due to complications from Hodgkin's disease. This devastating loss deeply affected Hazard and his family, as they mourned the loss of a beloved son and sibling. The loss of a child is an unimaginable tragedy for any parent, and it undoubtedly had a profound impact on Hazard's life. He had to navigate the grief and find ways to cope with the immense sorrow that followed Jakob's passing. Walt Hazard faced health problems throughout his life, which impacted his personal and professional endeavors. One notable health issue he dealt with was kidney disease. In the late 1990s, Hazard experienced kidney failure, leading him to require regular dialysis treatments. 
Dialysis is a medical procedure that helps remove waste and excess fluid from the blood when the kidneys are unable to perform this function adequately. Hazard's health condition necessitated ongoing dialysis sessions, which undoubtedly had a significant impact on his daily life and overall well-being. Despite his health challenges, Hazard remained resilient and continued to contribute to the basketball community. He stayed involved in the sport as a coach and mentor, sharing his knowledge and passion with aspiring players. Unfortunately, Walt Hazard's health struggles continued, and he underwent heart surgery in November 2011. Tragically, complications arising from the surgery led to his passing on November 18, 2011, at the age of 69. Hazard's death was a significant loss for the basketball community, as he had left a lasting impact through his playing career, coaching, and contributions to the game. His passing sparked an outpouring of tributes from former teammates, coaches, and fans who recognized his skills, leadership, and commitment to the sport. Although his life was tragically cut short, Walt Hazard's memory and legacy live on in the hearts of basketball enthusiasts worldwide. His passion, talent, and dedication continue to inspire generations of players and fans alike. If you're a fan of basketball and want to stay updated on the latest news, stories, and insights from the world of sports, consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll gain access to exclusive content, interviews, and analysis that will enhance your basketball experience. Don't miss out on the opportunity to stay connected with the game you love. Subscribe to our channel today.